All right, we are in our second session of uh, Vinny's song, Guitar for Songwriting uh, lessons. We've gone through three segments to begin with, uh, and now we are in a session where we're going to be dealing with, what, rhythm? Rhythm. Rhythm. Take it away. Uh, yeah, and uh, a little quick note is that um, we're, we're kind of... At this moment, we're taking a break from the harmony studies. All right, so uh, I, I want I want to let the viewer know, whatever that um, I'm going to continue on with the last stuff uh, we were working on regarding the template. I'm going to be uh, uh, teaching about dominant seventh chords, secondary dominance, the two functions of dominant seventh chords, and make it again really simplified and visual for the guitar itself. So. Um, so that'll be coming up in the future. But right now we're kind of taking a little break. We don't have a lot of time today, so we're going to talk about rhythm. All right. So, um, all right. When I teach rhythm uh, to beginners and even people who have been playing guitar for a while that, that never really thought about it, this is an interesting subject. Like strumming is something that a lot of guitar teachers just don't teach. It's oh. just weird to me that, that, that you know, it's every, all about the, you know, the neck hand rather than, than the strumming. But... There are principles in strumming that are necessary to learn, all right? Um, all right, so when we're dealing with basic 4-4 four, four time, and that would be four beats to a measure, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, in that cycle, I have uh, something called duple strumming and quadruple strumming. Duple simply means for each beat, one, two, three, four. There's two actions, a down and an up beat. And that down and up beat corresponds with your arm. In other words, when I go one, I get two actions. One. So that's like one and two and three and four and. Now the most important principle about strumming for guitar is this. You never stop strumming. You go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and never stop. All right? What creates the rhythm is when you hit or miss the strings. Okay. That's, it's the silences <laughs> that actually make the rhythm. So if I'm... So just remember this always, like when you do rhythm, don't do something like this. Uh, now that may seem correct to some people because it's alternating. It's down, up, down, up, down, up. But the fact of the matter is that there's a pause on the lower beat. So we're doing two different strum sets. One is going like this, and the other is going mixing them together, that will cause confusion. So watch the difference. Here's wrong. And I've seen pro professional singer-songwriters do this on stage. That's really wrong. Now, again, here's wrong, and then right after it's going to be right. Wrong. And right. Now, in this situation, this is constantly happening. Okay, that's what creates the rhythm. Down, miss, down, up, miss, up, down, up. That's how we get that rhythm. Down, miss, down, up, miss, up, down, up. When I say miss, you follow through with the strum, but you miss the strings. So, down, miss, down, up, miss, up, down, up, down, miss, down, up, miss, up, down, up. Okay. And that's something, this is my term, uh, I call it the universal strum, that particular strum, because it's so, 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 so common. It's a real default kind of strum. Okay. All right. So this action must keep going. Okay. All right, now, I, that was called a duple strum, and the reason why is for each beat there are two actions, a down and an up stroke. <laughs> Now, the next one is quadruple, and as you can guess, for each one beat, there are four actions, down, up, down, up. Now, you would think this would make for a frantic kind of sounding music, because there's so much activity within one beat. But actually, believe it or not, the quadruple st strum is used most frequently in, uh, in ballads, slow songs. Ah. And the reason why is, you have plenty of space to do those four strums in, right. when, the, when the meter is slowed down like that. So now we have quadruple, and that's like, like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. 
and yet a slow lyric can can work with that you've got something in the background all the time right right actually you know what I, I want to put something on the whiteboard uh, to, yeah to explain so maybe we take a little pause here for a sec let's do that